news today. A new mammogram for National Referral Hospital. Public Solicitor Office hosts One Talk Legal Network in Honiara. Swim Solomon Islands honors success of Katova Secondary School in Samasodu in Isabel Province. And in sports netball playoffs over the weekend. Hello and welcome, I'm Lisa Ossifello. The mammogram machine at the National Referral Hospital in Honiara, which is used to detect medical issues related to women's breast health, has been out of service, but is now fully operational again. A team of experts and engineers worked alongside the hospital's radiologists and radiographers to ensure the machine was up and running. This means that women can now do breast health screening and now have access to the service at the National Referral Hospital. Yeah, so after 2014, First Lady's charity ought to be in buying first machine. And then him breakdown of 2019, him COVID lockdown, so um, engineers know how they come across for fixing. Until then, machine him stop all same and ought finally decommission him lower, um, last year. Then um, thank you, Los Solomon Islands Maritime, or to decide for buying one follow machine. So this follow machine has been installation started last year, December. Unfortunately, some for, um, hiccups low installation, a little bit the mechanical problems. So some for parts and source come back from Italy more. So um, today, me happy for talent that machine here have finally up and running. Um, last night, me for a dream short training low here. Um, it's, diff it's online training, so I'm not easy to mass, but the fact that we've been doing mammograms before and we've been operating similar machines, so it went on very well. Me satisfied with him training. Um, me just have to train him or the staff, but me the ladies. So i um, me happy for say that by me for last survey, doing back patients, but after next week. This mammogram machine will serve as the second mammogram unit at the National Referral Hospital. Chief Radiographer Ms. Loretta Maiohu expressed her disappointment over the malfunction, but is now hopeful that the new machine will provide much needed services to the community. Cancer is one of the leading causes of NCDs and 25% of the cases are breast cancer. Other ladies always ring come asking me, me got stuck, a lady friends. And me say sorry too much and me feel no good that me say, oh sorry machine, I'm no good now. Or installation, I have takes a while. But now I say that him up and running, I say me happy too much and me relief. And I'm uh, sorry that stuck a lot of me ladies out there, you me wait for come check up. So um, me assure him you follow no more that week after next week, you me should open back. And me should start looking me for every um, ladies blame me. So, um, screening by happen, you just um, ring come or walk in, you may make an appointment. Um, but you may go through now, or the preparations where you may need for dream um, before you follow a come mammal, which is simple. And then by me follow a certain date and time, then you follow a come look at me for a law x-ray department or national referral hospital. The Ministry of Rural Development continues its awareness campaign on the Constituency Development Fund Act 2023. Recently, community leaders, women representatives and church leaders from South Guadalcanal constituency met with the Ministry of Rural Development team in Honiara to learn about the changes under the new law, which was passed in Parliament last year. Oh, today, because I talk about the people here, the government, and I try to change them now, this policy here. Uh, I mean, close side, close side, now, yeah. So the economy employee me now, him try to change him, yeah? And uh, him try to change him, then him try to boost him up now, economy employee me in the country, yeah? Make him settle on development where him go down the rural area, him must come up and him been pity more at people. Him now, or him little bit is savvy blow me, or him no much cut him, but a little bit savvy blow me where me hear him more at a try to talk about, yeah? Me lipo, he me must try to make him good government, no more, yeah? And, uh, Try to develop with me, and then not him. Development him must catch him with me, and then you may very much be pit loyal. My only interest lo lo part lo in generating in Kamia. Him and a part also my interest lo him 
goes for the sake, me pull out a village woman, low grassroots level. What some fellow Jane says here now, me look him that buy him no, no get or buy him no feet for me fellow from back with pe woman for me fellow can. So tell me, me hear him that some fellow Jane says here, me wish no more that or get away out a uh, CDC committee, or to should go down the community for consulting me, me follow the village woman. For story good one time, me follow what, not go all about him, not this for RCD fan. Because for the sake, people always stop lot time by what uh, manage for applying, but for the sake of the people, lo home by him hard. Lo previous years, so say when that program and happen, me no sabe here, but what also me from government, uh, law fact where well, today me tell me, me bar satisfied from. What me experience in home to, and what program lo gamanya hembar watrak tim buat me experience lo wakab lo me to watch some people lo community buy akota benefits behind them then me sell lo buy benefits lo. To them me bar opportunity enough. Po kam bar herem steret lo ya lo me lo ta bar boboto mana ya. Wakata mana ta implement tim lo hekamab ten lo ta bar explain him. Me how me look him hembar mana itu mas ya. Hembar agut tu mas. Because of some sample, yes, I'm going to finish. What the selling him can come down here. Yeah. People just take him no more, use him, then no anything, no more him come up. Him can lose all part no more. But how many hear him know today? Him, ah, was him, how the story him this fella new fella act here. Yeah. Me believe that by, by everyone, by, by him too serious about him here. Yeah. By everyone, by the serious about him, but I'm afraid to misuse him too. Because he, law him, him sub to sight here. Yeah. You be everyone supposed him not do him good. Bayar orang pol member sendiri juga tuh yang bayar problem. Masa ni pelaman batik yang projek tuh, ini rumah problem meruan nama ya. So ni luke bar masjid na ya. Posib guide dia nasi lain ya. Poi masih using wise. Ministry of Rural Development Minister Roland Seleso encouraged his constituents to embrace the new law, saying it would improve attitudes towards development. Participants in the awareness session expressed support, noting that law will help communities become more self-reliant and utilise CDF opportunities for better livelihoods. The Public Solicitor's Office in Honiara, Solomon Islands, is hosting a meeting with support from the Ministry of Justice and Legal Affairs and assistance from the Australia Solomon Islands Program for Justice. Attendees include the Public Solicitor of Papua New Guinea, the Director of the Legal Aid Commission of Fiji, and the Public Solicitor of Vanuatu. A welcome ceremony, including a chupu, was held to greet these officials today at the National Auditorium. Good for us to know what actually we're doing, uh, as members of parliament are doing, and the people in the country. I think uh, the good thing about uh, this is so that we can grow every single citizen of Solomon to understand what it's all about law. I think uh, in parliament we, we were passed uh, laws and laws, but I think our very people in the room feel they don't know all about these laws, that they're very innocent. And so I think something we really we need for work, work hard to help. My office has made some positive developments in recent months following the signing of the One Talk Legal Network with the Office of the Public Service of Papua New Guinea. And we hope that the same will, same will do with our, with our network with the Fiji Legal Aid Commission under what, what, what is called the Viri Kawa Kawa Legal Network. The meeting aims to discuss potential partnerships that will strengthen the Wantok Legal Network in the region, enhance the Wantok Legal Twinning Program, and explore opportunities for expanding legal aid assistance to other Pacific Island countries. Um, these are two days meeting yeah, um, between the Public Solicitor of Papua New Guinea, Public Solicitor of Solomon Islands, and the uh, Director of Legal Aid. Commission of Fiji, uh, ota, ota come together for all in one for a meeting, but I talk about him na ways where uh, these these three offices, but uh, we provide him, uh, finding ways for providing quality legal service lot people lot. But apart from just that one, these these three offices, me for garam a 
twinning project between Mifala. So Solomon Alan got a twinning project with Fiji, we had called the Kawa Kawa Network. We also got a two digital one talk legal network with PNG. So apart from these networks, this all meeting is mainly for discussion going forward on how now by this fala twinning networks and programs here by continue for developing capacity, blood lawyers within this office for providing a quality legal service lot people. Because with these three offices, each country, these are the only three offices who are representing what people are eh, providing free legal service. So that is one of the most important things about this meeting. Because this meeting can provide them eh, an avenue for to talk about in building capacity, more collaboration and partnership, whereby helping the officers eh, for providing better legal services for people. They eh, important for this meeting. The people of Samasodu village in the Hograno-Kia Kokota Havule constituency of Isabel province have maintained a partnership with supporting workers in mission, SWIM, for over 20 years. During this time, SWIM has contributed to various projects aimed at improving the community, including water and sanitation initiatives, the construction of a clinic and more recently the development of Katova High School. Jeremy Guao spoke with Rob Peets, the project team leader, about the ongoing collaboration that began two decades ago. I'll take you back to 2006 and, and we started a project and it was focused on a project and it was to build a medical clinic and that was an important clinic. And it was a group of Australians who travelled over in their own time at their own expense to do that project. Uh, we went to a village we'd never seen before and saw people we'd never met before. That's how it started, it started as a project. But 20 years later, we've uh, changed from a project into a relationship. And we saw such value in a relationship orientated process rather than a project orientated process. Because through that relationship, we've been able to work alongside uh, local people in the village, local people in the district. We've been able to teach them things I think they've taught us more than we've taught them. Uh, we've learnt from them and through that relationship uh, they're now equipped and highly capable of progressing the Katova High School project. Just to put a smile on, you know, um, on the face of people of Samasodo, uh, for you how's that feel? And as I look out the children in the village that's where my heart goes out to because sitting there might be the next Prime Minister, it might be the next doctor might be the next astronaut, but how would we know unless they get the opportunity to have an education? So it's uh, once again just a spectacular blessing to be able to provide that for them and then watch these children thrive through a good education to possibly change the world. What are sort of like um, plans going forward, especially after this um, initiative has been, you know, reached this um, end of it? Let me tell you, this journey is incredibly difficult. There are no smooth paths and straight roads on this journey. Um, but that's, I think, where that friendship factor comes back in again. Um, if I'm bogged in the mud, uh, one of my mates from the village, you know, a, a one talker or a friend blow me, he's there to help me out. How does it feel to have, you know, um, have a successful, you know, coming from idea, and you know, starting from 2006, now right up to 2000, um, 2020, 2024, um, it's quite tw probably 20 years, I would say. And to have something successful like this, how's that for you? It's beyond comprehension, actually, to message the Prime Minister while I'm at work in Australia, maybe 10 or 15 times a day, to call him uh, on my way home from work and have a chat with my friend Jerry, because that's who he is, my friend Jerry. Uh, then to come over here and to be able to fly to the village um, with my friend Jerry, the Prime Minister, and the Australian High Commissioner who um, um, joined us as well, and that was a real blessing. To go into his village, walk alongside him, uh, is just beyond comprehension, like I said. I uh, never imagined in 2006 that uh, we'd be continuing on this journey in the calibre that it has now reached, that we're working alongside Australian High Commission, uh, Prime Minister of the Solomon Islands. It's uh, quite spectacular. Uh, Samosoto is home blow me. It, uh, I've spent an incredible amount of time there. Uh, I will walk into the village, I know Mildred's made my bed, and uh, 
set that up. I know uh, the rest house lady, Gillian, uh, she'll be there sleeping and preparing. Uh, I'll walk over and see Chief Derek and uh, introduce myself. And after many stories, not about the project, about our families and about what's happened in life, we will start talking about business. Um, that's what Samosoto is to me. It's like uh, being in my own home.